Okay guys, this is Bob, Mr. RSM for GMTNation.com. I'm shooting a video of the cradle that's in the bottom of a GM 4.2 liter LL8 engine that's inverted in this situation with the caps put on upside down so that I can use it as a cleaning station for the crankshaft. I figured it's exactly the same configuration inside the motor so I should be able to lay the crank with a journal set up and a main at one, four, and seven positions to support the weight because it is a long crank. <clears throat> There's a bad joke in there somewhere. Anyway, um, to do this I used the, the stock bolts that came out of the motor and this is from the donor motor that I'm working on right now and um, I simply ordered some M10 by 1.50 um, thread line nuts and some M10 wide washers and the reason I got the wide stainless washers is because if you look on the edge here where the bearing surface stops. If I don't put a washer further out to be able to grab and hang on to that bearing as I turn the crank to work on it and polish the journals it could damage uh, the crank and the bearings could come out which I I don't want those halves to come out while I'm monkeying around with it. So anyway I thought this was a way to solve a problem that only a machinist shop would be able to work with. And This is an unusual motor to begin with but in this situation I'm using the parts to solve the problem so I'm kinda happy with that. Okay, uh, this is the first in a series of videos that I'll, I'll be doing in the construction and rebuild of a GM 4.2 liter LL8 six cylinder inline engine. Okay. Thanks for watching. Uh, mark a like if you like it and there'll be more to follow. Thanks.